It's time for Highlands Basketball and the Mike and Mike Christmas Special along with Santa Choma. This is Mike Pavlik, cameraman Dan upstairs tonight, the Highlands Golden Rams and the Mike and Mike Christmas Special hosting the Valley Vikings in the last game before Christmas. Merry Christmas, Dean. Merry Christmas to you and everybody out there. Hope you have a great holiday and big one tonight, old rival. Old rival. Haven't played in seven years, which is almost impossible to believe. Uh, Rams are back at it on the second consecutive night. They played at Penn Trafford last night and had a big win. Yeah, Mike, 33-point win, and again, a mercy rule them. Playing back-to-back -back is tough, but when you have 10 days off, you're happy to see anybody that doesn't have a hot chart across you yet, especially when it's the Valley Vikings. Well, that is correct. The Rams are 5-2 and two in the back half of back-to-back -back the last two years, so they're okay on that number. Well, you talk about Valley. I have good news and I have bad news. I'll give you the bad news first. The bad news is that in the last two years plus, Valley is 4-38. and 38. That's not good. The good news is two of those four wins have come in the last three games. Let's talk about those two, okay? Very big win over Apollo Ridge. Then they beat uh, Mont Pleasant 32-18. to 18. So that's some great defense there. Coach Stone is trying, and he's doing a couple things. Tom Myers is just like, set goals. Don't put the score dot. Let's have 12 or less turnovers. Let's shoot 50% from the foul line. Take the baby steps and things start to happen. He's got a formidable po here tonight. Hell, he does. But, uh, as you said, they're coming on a little bit. Well, it is the last game before Christmas, and I know that both teams would like to go into the break on a winning note. No doubt about it. Again, old-fashioned rivalry, your last home game. We are going to have a very interesting Christmas schedule up at C.J. Better's Mike, Pine Ridge and 6A team, and, again, Penn Hills. We knocked them out of the playoffs last year. They are not happy with us. They are going to become with daggers in their eyes. So we're going to have a very good challenge. Then a big one, January 3rd. Need everybody here. Home against Hampton, section opener. Probably the biggest game of the year. That will be their, our next home game here against Hampton on the 3rd of January. All right, that wraps it up. Remember, stay tuned at halftime. We'll have a special halftime for you, including the Dean will do his yearly silver bells. Uh, this year, Kelly Clarkson. Yeah, Mike, she's been waiting to sing with me for a while, so I'm going to give it the best shot I can. It's going to be tremendous. Remember, first time in seven years these two teams have played. Highlands has won the last seven times they have played. Sevens are wild. It's Highlands, it's Valley, and it's coming right up. Stay tuned. Starting lineups brought to you by Dan Timmons Painting, Natrona Heights. Dan Timmons Painting to beautify and protect. Dean, the Valley Vikings. Mike, they'll start number 15, Jacob Starriniak, a six-foot junior. Number two, Dallas Price, a 5'10 senior. 5'10 senior, number 13, Jaden Richter. Four seniors starting tonight, Mike. Six foot one senior, number 43, Andre Taylor. And rounding out the starting lineup for Valley is six foot one inch guard. Senior number 50, Xavier Wilson. So we've, we've seen a bunch of these guys on the football field. Remember, we played them last season down They're at Valley. An experienced club grade-wise, but not a lot of experience on the yeah, basketball. They club. lost all five starters from last year. And that team struggled at one and Right, they only won one game, and they beat still Valley, which makes no sense either. But Hyden starting lineup. Again, they will start number 25, Cam Regard, 6'1", junior, averaging 16 points per game. Jordan Tavares, number 23, 6'1", junior guard, eight points a game. Our big guy in the middle, 15, Braden Foster, 6'8", junior, averaging 24 points per game. Number zero, 6'4", inch senior, Chandler Timmons, 14 rebounds last night, Mike. And our point guard, 6'3", senior, number one, Jimmy Quince, comes in averaging 20 points per game. They basically all come out with their shirts untucked, and then they tuck them in as it's time to get ready to go. Jimmy's was Jimmy's shirt was tucked in, but the other four, no, not so. Starting lineups brought to you by Dan Timmons Painting for all your commercial and industrial painting needs. They got you covered. Larry Porterfield, Todd Fink, and Dr. Bob Marchie are our men in stripes tonight. And we're set to go for the first time in seven years. That's amazing, Mike, when you think about it. Cross the bridge from each other and haven't played each other in seven years. Those, they played twice in 2016. Highlands winning 78 to 35 at Valley and winning 77 to 29 here at Highlands. The Rams have beaten them seven times in a row and they've also won separately seven times in a row at Valley. Wow. 
Coach Stone said he wanted his game to give his kids some experience, Mike. And again, the way Hodges is playing, it's going to be tough to beat him. That's for Swatted sure. backcourt, and Kunst is able to come up with it. Now to Regard. He's going to have to pull it out. Tavares left side to Timmons. Back to Kunst. Three ball on the way. It is up around no good. Oh, what a play by Timmons to get it out of there. And he gets up slowly. He hit the floor hard yeah, there, but on his hip. he secured the basketball. Now to Regard. 2-3 zone, Mike. Touch. Down to Foster. Foster, and it's blocked and stolen away by Wilson. Wilson back the other way for Valley. Dumps it back for Dallas Price. This is Richter. Hyden's in her 5 and other start. Mike's always got off to quick starts in the first quarter at 25 a game. Well, Sereni, I tried to throw one into the paint area, but the Rams were there to steal this. Tavares got a hand on it. Now to Foster. Got a man in the air. Timmons. Down low Tavares, but another steal. Rams turn it over both times. And again, it's Wilson. Wilson goes in with the left hand high off the glass. He missed it. Rebound. Timmons, and he's fouled. And down he goes. First foul of the game on Valley at one minute in. No score. Two turnovers so far. Jaden Richter picks up the first personal. Regard thought about it, didn't take it. Tavares will. In and out, no good. Rebound Valley. Dallas Price. So the Rams finally get a shot off. And like we talked about, you know, where our Achilles heel could be. They're trying to zone tonight. Most teams have played as man to man. Richter, they swing it over to the corner to Price. Taylor underneath. Taylor with a move on Foster, but couldn't get around him. That's Wilson with a left-handed three, no good. Rebound Timmons. Regard ahead of the field. The Rams have a three on one, but great defense coming back, hustling by Richter to knock it out of bounds. Regard tried to get it down to Foster, but again, good defense by Richter there. Pitcher's duel so far. And Mike, no easy layup for Mr. Foster since they're in a zone. Regard drains a three, and that, that's become his calling card, hitting the Rams' first three just about every night. Three-nothing Highlands. Speaking of layups, those are like layups for Cam. Look at them on the floor there playing defense, Mike. Wilson, right side to Price. His three is down, and we're tied. Come on, let's talk. Dallas Price in the book for the Vikings. 3-3 three, three the score. There's Tavares. Kunst puts it on the floor. Lost it for a moment. But Tavares able to come over and get it. And Mike, this is a ball movement off. Timmons off the glass. And the Rams back on top. Gets a 2-3. You put three guys around the circle. A high-low post. And you just move the ball. Straniak's in trouble. They double team him. Was, the third defender was the timeline. Into Richter. Blocked. Blocked by Foster. And he had a handful of those last night. Now he lost the handle. Look at that recovery, Mike. Nice job to come through. Nice dish to Tavares. He puts it in and draws the foul. Oh, what a play by Foster. Never lost control of him, Mike, and they were trying. They were nipping at his heels. Xavier Wilson picks up the foul. Second on Valley. My thing is when they play this down, Mike, you kind of get a little bit of a break on offense because you're in a ball movement offense. You don't have to move. You let the ball move. Tavares drains it. Any old story, Mike, you always try to shoot him out of his zone. And now hot and score gives him a chance to put a little pressure on. Thank you. Eight to three. And they do, but they do break it. Wilson forecourt against Foster. And what's the call? Travel. A travel. How's he going to call a jump ball? I'm well, not he, sure what Doc called it. Doc, Doc had it as a travel. I think he called a jump ball. He might have changed it. Yeah, I think he did. Arrow belongs to Valley, so they have it. Okay. Answers that question. Richter's jumper's off the front iron. And here comes Foster. And Foster could bring it up himself at 6'8". He is a matchup nightmare. Yep. Regard's going to spot up and let it go, and he drains it. Cam off to his fast start again. He's got six. It's 11 to three all of a sudden. Rams have scored 11, eight straight points. Nice oh, Stereniak's wide open on the back door, and he lays it in. 11-5. Quinn's on the attack. Found Regard open in the corner. Here it comes. Bang! Cam Regard leads the team in threes, and he's got three so far. Three times three is nine. 
And it's 14 to five. Steriniak around Kunst. And a left-handed three by Wilson is missed. They battle for it. Tavares has it. Ahead of the pack is Regard. He lays it in. Oh, rough treatment after the fact, Mike. No foul, though. Regard has 11. And he's got the Sinclair, and the Rams lead it 16 to five. Turnover, let's see if they can convert this one. Three on two, Kunst all the way home, lays it up and scores. His first two. 18 to five. Well, everybody keeps looking at Coach John Stone to see if he wants to call time. And we are going to get a timeout. He's asking for it now. He's, he's going to give him a timeout, Mike. It's a good yep. call by Larry. It is, it is, and they did want it. Yep. And, uh, so winter, by the way, winter is here, and it's going to be really here Ooh. soon, coming up for Christmas. Well, There's no better time than right now to stop into Highland Tire and Highland Integrity Alignment. Your family owned and operated hometown choice for tires in the AK Valley. Highland Tire offers one of the largest and most complete inventories of tires and custom wheels in the Pittsburgh area. And if you don't see it on site, they'll order it for you. Stop in today and see why Highlands fans choose us for tires, auto repair, and oil changes. Visit HighlandTire.com or give them a call in Trenum at 724-224-9222. In Natrona Heights at 724-224-7900. Or Highland Integrity Alignment, 724-224-5900. Highland Tire, service, integrity, price. Since 1961, we deliver. Mike, while we have a chance, uh, you mentioned winter, I'd like to say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all our Canadian friends as they sit on their Chesterfield enjoying tonight's game. Yeah, Merry Christmas to everyone up there, definitely. Jimmy Quince is relative. Unlike Thanksgiving, that we all celebrate Christmas at the same time. Canadian Thanksgiving is a month ahead of ours. Well, how about that? I did not know. I try to learn something every day you just taught me. Also, by the way, Mike, Amber Regard's in the house. That's Cam's sister. She's home for the holidays. You know what she does? Doesn't She works for a professional basketball team. Is it Memphis Grizzlies? She did it one time. Now she's with the Minnesota Timberwolves. Minnesota Timberwolves. Yep, she's an executive in the business development area. Love it. So she knows all those guys. No, no T-Wolves game tonight, I guess, then. This is Price letting it fly. Off the rim, no good. Rebound. Signorella in the ball game. And he's done yeoman's work. Great pass. Timmons to Kunst. Ooh, he missed the layup. Missed but Regard got the rebound. Sig Signorella. They're going to call a foul on Highlands, I think. Let's, Let's see. see. Basket's nope, good. Basket's no. good. I was listening to the Valley bench for that one. And that goes on Stereniak, his first. So Signorella averaging close to 15 a game in the last two. I was at middle school practice today, Mike, and I told the kids, you want to watch one kid tonight, watch number four, Landon Signorelli. So watch how he runs, he sprints down the floor, gets in that box, and we've been rewarding him. Well, the thing about the way this team plays is that with substitution patterns, you give everything you have when you get tired, you get a little bit of a rest, and then you can go back in there. 21-5. to yeah. five. And all I'm asking them to do is run as hard as Landon does. Right. Easier said than done, Mike. Streniak's three is missed, but the long rebound came out and pulled out by Tayshawn Hawkins in his great shoe game that he's got going. Streniak missed it. Rebound, regard. And the way and the way they're, the Highlands guards rebound the ball, too, is another thing, the way they crash the glass. Mike, you look up. We have 21 points already. Yeah, Mount Pleasant had 18 the whole game uh, against Valley just recently. Look at that. Off the alley-oop. They tried to get it to Foster, but you know what? He was blocked off pretty well by the Valley defense that time. He couldn't get where he needed to get. Running one-hander by Wilson is no good, and there's Signorella again. And Sig was setting that screen for that, Mike. Just couldn't get it done. This will get Foster, it done. Foster, flush! That'll get it done. His first two, and he is emphatic with that slam. Oh, in trouble at the timeline. Count is defender. on. Yep. They, they did break it. And what do we have? We get a foul. Highlands on the reach in. They're first of the game. Signorella will get it. There's only one better place to trap than at midcourt in the middle of the court. That's on the sides, Mike, because you get the extra defender that timeline. That time they had it. Subs in for Highland. 206 left first quarter. The Rams leading at 23 to 5. Ali Sharif in for the first time. Dom Stober back on uh, in the lineup tonight. Off IR. I talked to his mom. She said he's good to go. Price. Well, he had a career high against Kiskey. He did. 
Price off Launch. the move, launches it and drains it. It's his second one from downtown. Dallas Price, the senior, and it's 23-8. Tavares to Foster, lets it go. Three ball, nothing but nylon. Don't get that man started, Mike. He can He's dunk him, five. he can shoot threes. Talk about tough matchups. 26 to all. eight. There's another 25 point quarter, by the way. I think we're si six for six, Mike. Corner of the market. Price off the move, off the back iron, took a peek, no good. Rebound Timmons. Long lead feed to Foster. Ahead of the field. It's able to control it nicely. Goes right back up. Got fouled. Got fouled, no call. Got fouled Try again. again. Fouled this time. Go. And he puts it in. Braden has such strong hands, Mike. How about this? The Rams have gone to the foul line three times because it's been three and once. How about that? Both Signorella and Tavares converted their three-point plays. Now we'll see if Foster can do it. And Foster shooting lights out from the line this year, too. 28-8. Storiniak gets 15, uh, has his second foul. Going to come out. Andre Taylor, number 43, back into the Valley lineup. Xavier Wilson will sit. So Storiniak's got two. So Foster, after being iced. <laughs> and he goes. Rams three for three tonight. Had a good night last night, too. I believe they were eight for, was it eight for 11, something yeah. along those lines. And Foster got eight quick ones there, Mike. Most nights they've been pretty good from the line this year. And the one bad game. 29 to eight now. Richter. Four court, less than a minute to go, first quarter. Right side to Price, takes it all the way to the basket, it won't go, and Sharif has the rebound. Rams are four on two. Numbers again. Regard to the corner, long three ball is down. Cam Regard is unconscious, 14 in the first quarter. Those are Sundays with Micah Mesa, Mike paying off. Four from downtown, it's 32 to eight. And dare I say we're in their mercy rule territory again? Yeah. Down underneath to Taylor. Taylor lost the handle, now gets it back out to Richter. 22 seconds. Arrow belongs to Highlands here, first quarter. Rams trying to start 6-0 for the first time since 21, two years ago. And a whistle and a foul underneath. I think it's gonna go against Tavares. That's who they got, Mike. We're, we're that wasn't the 2021 season. It was only the 21 season because we only started in January, if you remember. Yeah. <laughs> was, oh my God. Wow. But that was two seasons ago. It was. Last year we started 5 0 also. Best start ever in school history. Price three and it's down. He's got three from downtown. Was 19 0. Kunst at the buzzer. Yes. He got it. And that was pure, Mike. That was not a fling. That was a shot. The Rams hit six from downtown in a 35-point first quarter, and they didn't score for two minutes. That's crazy. That is just crazy. Well, located in beautiful downtown Toronto, Harvest Moon Coffee Chocolates is dedicated to serving great La Prima Espresso Company coffee and hand-dipped small batch candy. Use the finest Belgium dark and milk chocolates. Kathy and Kenny, don't look in your stockings. <laughs> More than a love for great chocolates, remarkable coffee, and a sense of giving back to the community, Harvest Moon Coffee and Chocolates has a mission providing uniquely delicious products while serving as a gathering place for friends and family. Harvest Moon Coffee and Chalk is located at 206 Corbett Street in Trenum. They're open every day until 3. Check out the website at harvestmoonc2.com. Drink coffee, eat chocolate, be kind. You got it. Mike, we're talking about uh, how many tough games Hans has in their upcoming schedule. And I mm -hmm. said, I wish we had one tough one before we hit that Pine Ridge and Penn Hills Street, uh, string of games. Out at CCBC. Yeah. And, and you were saying, by the way, there's my middle school guys. Over there, there they are. Everybody waving. There they go. There, there they go. Waving. Okay. Yay. They know when the camera's on them. Yeah, they're working hard for us, Mike. But, you know, you mentioned Shadyside. They're 5-1. Five 5-1. And five and one. That was. And that's Valley so, Section. Yeah, that and, was supposed and, to be a hard game. And Deer Lakes is 3-3. Three and three. You know who their three losses are against? Hmm. Hampton, Highlands, and Shaler. There you go. Second quarter, and Ali Sharif launches a three and missed it. Tipped out of bounds, and it's Valley basketball. Signorella and Quince battle for that rebound. But, you know, it, 
it's scary when you think about that, Mike. A 5 and one team, and we had Mercer rule early in the third quarter and win by 40. Signorella goes into the bench. Yeah. And he'll do that. I told, again, I told the middle school kids to watch him. Hopefully he saw that. He's I don't think Landon thinks the game has begun until he's hit some, run into something, run into someone, hit the ground, hit the floor. Our Brad Wataki incarnate. I think every team needs that. that it was year, a Christian Tanelli gave us that. Yep. How many games did we win in a row that one year? Oh, we one started the season 19 and 0. In, and knock, yep, got it. Right. And we ended up 21 and 3. That was in 2006-2007. Uh, Sereniax three is down. So he drains it from the corner. They didn't win. They didn't go 19 and 0 the year they lost at knock. It was the 06-07 team that has the record for the start. 19. But we lost at Knock, right? Not that year. Who we lose to? We, we did lose at Knock, but it was, yeah. Signorella up and in? And lost to Laurel Highlands in the playoffs. Caleb Ramsey here. That was that thing. Oh, geez. He got five. 21 and two going into the playoffs. Swipe, one and done sayonara. 37-14. Now it's loose, on Signorell is fouled on the floor. Team foul number five against the Vikings at 6.41 left first half. Highlands leading at 37-14. Chandler Timmons back in, Ali Sharif will sit down. Rams will go with a little bigger group with uh, Signorella, Timmons, Kunst, Tavares, Regard. Foster's sitting at this point. High post to Timmons, back over to Regard. Three ball on the way, back rim no good. Nice Rebound poked out of there Nell. by Price. Price. He's got a layup and scores. And he goes into double figures, he's got 11. Yeah. Regard, <laughs> he thought about it. Uh -huh. Now to Jimmy. Why not, Mike? Tavares, thing. Shoot Timmons, shoot. Signorella. He oh, how they moved the ball right there and shot his miss, but there's Kunst, Foul. he's fouled. He'll shoot two. At 6.07. The Boucher family's been in business in Natrona Heights for over 70 years, and they're uniquely qualified to help you choose home and auto insurance that protects what matters most, your family. The Boucher's are independent agents. In addition to Nationwide, they're working with all the leading companies in the industry, like Progressive, Allstate, AIC, and now under the Traveler's umbrella. Find more ways to find for you to save on your home and auto insurance. Call your hometown independent agents, John and Nick Boucher, at 724-224-4300. And choose the coverage that's right for your family. They have evening and Saturday hours for your convenience. Remember, in the AK Valley, you're in good hands with the Boucher Agency under the umbrella. Jimmy missed the first. It's our first miss of the night. Second short. Foster fought the rebound away, though. One against three. Yeah, Left-handed hook yeah. is no good, but it's going to come right back to him. Dump it into Kunst. Kunst is up, missed it. Rebound Foster, scores. Bang of the boards, Mike. I guess it was a matter of time. Yep. 39-16. And a backcourt foul. It's on Valley, I believe. Let's yeah. see. Coach John Stone telling his player that uh, I think it was Stereniak, wasn't it? No, it was four. I'm sorry, Tayshawn Hawkins. Offensive foul, so they won't shoot the one-on-one. -on -one. We are in bonus territory now. 5.40 to go, first half. Tavares, Timmons, beautiful Great pass talk. to Foster. They collapse on him, but he scores anyway. There was contact there, but that, I don't think it was to the uh, standards of a foul. Good job by the officials to not blow the whistle there. 41-16. Foster now is a dozen. Hey, match up. Defensively, match he scored 20 four games in a row. Yes, he has. Leading score 20. It might be four. four. Yeah, it's four. He didn't score in the 20s the first game, but he's had in the 20s every one since. And Jimmy's averaging 20 a game too. Jimmy Clemens. Price with an air ball. Islands will get it at 5-12. Yeah, Jordan Mike. Tavares. Coming in averaging 84 points a game, giving up 54. And, and three of the five games have gone mercy. That's the incredible thing about it. Foster for three, no good. Rebound Price goes in there to get it. 
to Hawkins. Now four court to Taylor. Taylor oh. blocked by Foster again. And Foster it saved it. Oh, they're gonna say he was on the line. Yeah. Yeah. Chandler shaking, looking at the bench, shaking his head no. <laughs> yeah, Chandler had a good look at it. it. Yeah. I thought Foster collected it. I always say he doesn't, Bill Russell never knocked him out of bounds. He, he caught them. Yep. And we call those the Bill Russell yeah, block. Vikings make the two quickly off the inbound as Wilson put it in. Now beating him down as Regard to answer it. He's got 16. And right on the baseline. 43-18. Price forecourt. Stereniak. Now corner, and that's Wilson's three. Oh, it settles for him. Xavier Wilson from the corner. Last five Valley points, 43-21. Regard got a man in the air. Dumped it off to Barris. Three ball off the rim. Rebound, Jimmy Kuntz put it in. Jimmy anticipated, great hops that time. He's now got seven. 45-21 against the double team. Stereniak. Tyree Jamison, number three in the Valley lineup. This is Price. This is Jamison out of the corner. He's going to let a three go. Boy, that had some arc. Numbers out four on two, Mike. Regard. Dumped down to Foster. Foster put it up. Oh, he was caught in between. Yeah. Wasn't sure if he wanted to dunk it or lay it up. And, and, and there was a little contact, too, Mike. Yes, there was. I think that's how he got caught in between. Right. Here's Price. He's going to let it go off the back rim. Timmons got the rebound again. Took an elbow in the mush. But a good job by... Not so fast. Jameson, but that man, Ramps. Jimmy Clint just ripped it out. Like it looked like a turnover, but Jimmy recaptured it. He never quit on the play, and that's why that happened. He's so got nine. He puts it in. Jimmy going to try to complete the three-point play. He was 0 for 2 his last trip to the line. 310 to go first half. Highlands leads at 47 to 21. Like I got a Will Chucko study. Will I am across the way. Is Will I am here? Right? Okay. Yeah. His brother Brady's our point guard on middle school team. Does a nice job and got a couple lattice boys there too. Yeah. Right? Logan and Luke. There are bigs. Kuntz makes that one. He's in double figures with 10. The Rams had three players in double figures. Rams four for six from the line, and it's 48-21. Go! Got it to Price for court. Back to Stereniak. Less than three to go. It'll, the half and Kunst stole it. Kunst all the way oh, with a jam. Jimmy Jam! A Jimmy Jam? That's a new one. Not really. You've used it before? Yes, sir. Wilson's fouled. First time this year? No, oh, first time this year. And Mike, he just took that away from him, overpowered him, and jammed him. With authority. With authority. And we're at the 50 burger again. 50 to 21, underneath the Signorella, make it 52. Landon's got seven off the bench, and it's 52-21. Middle school kids take notes, get in the blocks, and wait for the ball. Stay tuned at halftime for a dramatic reading of commercials. <laughs> Stereniak's three from the corner is drained. His second from downtown. There are a lot of threes going down here tonight. Three, four, five. Valley's at six from downtown. Regard tried to buy the foul, but we're going to have one on Foster going the other way. First That's only the, only the third against Highlands. Mike, we have special halftime guests, so don't, uh, That's right. don't leave. Don't leave. A familiar face, and of course, Silver Bells, a tradition like no other. Absolutely. We got Kelly Clarkson away from her new show to help out with that. She will sing at the drop of a hat because she does it well. That's why. Price crossover. Tommy Callender in there. Tommy about a block by Signorella. Now they battle for it. Taylor battling with Callender and Signorella. Arrow belongs to Valley on the hell ball. Coach Stone not happy with the lack of call on there on that one there. He's down there trying, Mike. But he it's is. A tough get against these Highlands Golden Rams for the Valley Vikings. 
What do we have here? We're having moisture on the floor. Oh, the ball's wet. Probably hit some water over there. Todd Fink doing a little uh, housekeeping. Speaking of housekeeping, Mike, we have a scheduling update I want to give you in a second here. Okay. Wilson put it on the floor, kicked it back out for Richter. He's going to let it go. Missed everything, and Timmons is there. Wide left. Timmons over to Callender. Now he throws it into the paint, and Stereniak stole it. Third hottest turnover of the half, that's all. Ooh. And, and, and the first two possessions, it's the first one since. Yes, really. Taylor, back out to Wilson. Loops it to Sereniak. He's going to let it long go. 30-footer off the rim. Saved by Signorella. Sig's handling the ball, Mike. And he is bringing it up. Over to Dom Stober. Now Timmons goes all the way in. Found Signorella. He missed it. And Valley with a rebound. Minute to go in the half. Now it passes tipped by Sig, and it's corralled by Stereniak. That calendar got a piece of it and knocked it away. And, and the steal. To Ahead to Signorella. He lays it in. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Landon Signorella with nine. 54 24. And that's the magic number. 42 seconds left. The shot is missed, and now Taylor. Andre Taylor will go to the line, and he'll shoot a couple at 38 seconds. Mike, don't you hate it when you need work done around the hospital? You can't get anyone to call you back, or even worse, they call you back and they don't do the job properly. Well, put those problems aside. Call Beanie Home Renovations. They've been executing a home project in the 8K Valley for the past decade. Again, if you're spending your hard-earned money, you want the work done right. Beanie does it right the first time, every time. Experience the difference today. Call 724-351-3172 or on the web at beanyhomerenovations.com. Take the first step in making your home a better place to live. Beanie Home Renovations, where the B is always good. Taylor missed the first. He gets another. And he missed them both. It's tipped. Saved by the Vikings, though. And it's going to be Valley Ball, I think, as Tommy Callender knocked it out. Okay, my scheduling up, Mike. We're still playing on Saturday, January 21. Right. But now we have a new opponent and we have a new venue. Same time. Okay, so we're going to be 5 o'clock Saturday, January 21st at Alderdice, the new venue at North Hills. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, if North Hills is playing, my wife might come. That's right. You may never we'll, know. We'll get to see Royce Parham, one of the uh, oh, one of the highly recruited. You bet. The ball's tipped, and here is Timmons. Two on one. It's almost saved by Sig. It is. They're going to say Valley knocked it out last. As Stobert threw it into the paint to Signorella. 24 seconds left in the first half. Highlands leading at 54-24, which matters because if it's 30 points, you'll have mercy rules starting the uh, third quarter. Looping into Timmons. Timmons against two men. Boy, it had a lid on it. Kicked it back out. Calendar's three is missed. And Richter has it for Valley. 14 seconds. Richter getting a rough ride from Ali Sharif. And what's the call? Double dribble, says Larry Porterfield. Turnover Valley at eight seconds. Eight turnover. Timmons into Sharif. Clock starts now as he touches it. Back to Chandler. Corner to Stobert. Three ball up. Oh, three ball down. Downtown Dom Stobert at the buzzer. And the Rams lead it 57-24 at the break. B&J Sports is celebrating their sixth decade of outfitting our local teams and the great sports fans of the AK Valley. When it comes to all of your sporting goods needs, look no further than B&J Sports. Glenn Mills and his friendly staff provide that personal touch, customized high school jackets, team uniforms, trophies and plaques, or any kind of sports equipment. You just can't beat the service at B&J Sports. B&J is located at 1605 Freeport Road, Natrona Heights. They're open 9 to 530 weekdays and Saturdays 9 till noon. Or you can give them a call, 724-226-2762. Six decades says it all, B&J Sports. Halftime, Highlands 57, Valley 24. Stay tuned for stats, more, and special guest right after this. All right, back at halftime. Uh, thanks to the Dean and Kelly Clarkson for that stirring rendition of Silver Bells. And Dean, there is our special guest, Eddie Tiorski, who, who was with us on the court for about 20 years of this. And he's not able to be with us tonight, but we're thinking about you, Eddie. 
He's with us in spirit. Kelly Clarkson, voice of an angel. Very much. She said that about me. Uh huh. But Eddie was always with us at Christmas time. Would have our annual Christmas, and at the end he'd get on to thank us, his parents, everybody at Highlands for all the support they gave him over the years. He's at East Deer Personal Care. He actually had a broken arm, Mike, but he's oh. recovering from that. And uh, he's given us a thumbs up. Eddie, you're with us in spirit tonight for sure. All right, East Deer Personal Care Home. By the way, the former East Deer High School. How about that? Uh -huh. So he's back at school. He is. He is. My mom went to school there. My grandmother was there for quite a while. They Very nice. And uh, Thanks, Eddie. I, I'm saying hi to you right now and Merry Christmas. So uh, we'll, uh, I know you'll be watching. So it uh, uh, works out for us. All right, let's talk about the wireless zone. That is the largest independent Verizon wireless franchise in America. We're dedicated to meeting the wireless needs of your family, your business, and your lifestyle. Our stores offer competitive prices on today's most popular smartphones, devices, and accessories with award-winning customer service. Stop by today and see what makes Verizon the world's largest and most reliable network. Visit your wireless zone headquarters in Natrona Heights at the Walmart Plaza and at Pittsburgh Mills Mall and ask about 5G Home, 5G ultra-wideband internet for your home, or find the wireless zone store nearest you by visiting Wireless Zone. Com. Speaking of the Mason family, our halftime stats are brought to you by Mason Elite. Being elite starts at any age. We train our players to be the best basketball players on the court and the best versions of themselves off the court. John Mason gave us an assist up there with the picture of Eddie yes, on a Verizon phone that I have yeah. <laughs> from the Verizon Wireless Zone with John Mason. Let's take a look at halftime stats, Mike. Hot 35 points in the first quarter, 22 in the second, 57 total. There he is. <laughs> Thank you, John. And again, uh, Led by Cam Rieger with 16. Braden Foster has 12. Jimmy Quintz has 12. Chandler Timmons, 2. Jordan Navarro, 3. Dom Stover, 3. And coming off the bench again strong, Landon Cigarella with 9. The Valley Vikings might have three guys that have scored. Dallas Price has 11. Uh, Jacob Sturinsky, Sturini, excuse me, has 8. And Xavier Wilson has 3 for their total of 24. Halftime Stats, as always, brought to you by Mason Elite at the Pittsburgh Mills Mall. For more information on the best basketball training in Pittsburgh, visit MasonElite.com. Are you or someone you know in need of physical or occupational therapy? Then consider a caring therapist at Phoenix Rehabilitation and Health Service in Atlanta Heights. Zach Bartolota and his staff specialize in one-on-one -on -one personal care, coupled with the latest techniques and equipment and physical therapy services. They deal with any type of injury, specialize in orthopedic conditions, including sports and workman comp injuries. Phoenix Rehabilitation Health Service, conveniently located at 1601 Union Avenue in Atlanta Heights. Flexible hours for your convenience and accept most insurance, including UPMC. So give them a call today at 724-224-5090 to set up an appointment. Mike, I'm out of breath and it's only halftime. And you thought I was kidding when I said it was going to be a dramatic reading of commercials at halftime. We do apologize. Normally there's a couple time -offs, Yeah, and, and we also don't have the mercy rule. We're, we're, we've been having all these mercy rule games. No coaches are calling time. And at a normal length game, we're fine. But we haven't had any normal length games. Yeah. We had one, the Deer Lakes game. There was an independent Kiskey game, had you know, drug out on its, on its own little merits. Mike, okay, I just noticed something. We're going to have to try to get a shot of it at the end of the third quarter. Our senior banners are up pretty Yeah, neat. I saw those. Those are nice. We got a lot of seniors, too, huh? Yeah, we got two, four, seven. six, seven. Yep. So here we go. Jimmy Kunst has the ball. The Rams move right to left in their home white uniforms. Rams in the black, or the Vikings in the black and gold. Regard with a move. Got around Price, dumped it down to Foster, and he lays it in. Just like they drew it up. 14 for Braden, and it's 59-24. And I believe they did draw that one up. I, I, I meant that that time. Steriniak right in front of the Valley bench. Goes corner to Wilson. Wilson went all the way down the baseline and then worked it back out top for Hawkins. Hawkins went in with a runner and scores. Tayshawn Hawkins with his first two. Hunters do what they did last night. Oh, we're ahead of the pack. Tavares scores. Second half against Penn Trafford. Hines played a zone. They're coming out in that same 2 3 zone here. Second half against Dallas. Price, Stereniak. Now they go right corner for a three by Wilson. It's missed. Foster had the rebound. It was knocked away from him. And it was Good knocked call. out by Valley. Yep. Here's Tavares. Now to Kunst. Blows up the baseline and stepped on it. Turnover Highlands at 645. Only their fourth, Mike. And again, now Valley's gone from his own demand. So we're 
both teams to change their defenses here in the second half, trying to make adjustments along the way. Valley two and four, but they are one and zero in section. We talked about that Apollo Ridge game in the pregame. That was 64-38, and that was a section opener. That's the only game Valley's played at home so far. How about that? Stariniak turns around with a jumper. It's the front iron. Lost her head of the pack again. He's able to control it and jam it home. That's great coordination, Mike, to collect before the Foster flush. 63-26. Inside on the double team, it comes low to Taylor. Back out top to Price. Two minutes into the second half. And Taylor oh, and block. Foster blocks it. If you try it again, I have an idea. Yeah. Yeah, you got a piece of that one, too. And here is... Look at that, Mike. Timmons, nice lead feed to Kunst, the head of the pack, and he lays it in. Tic tac toe. 65 26. And listen to Jimmy talk on defense, Mike. He's the captain for a reason. Now, another shot is blocked as Taylor. Ripped away, though. They do. Good by job that time Richter. by Richter. Price. Stereniak had it stolen by Tavares. He's got Regard with him. He's going to lay it up. Oh, uh -oh. that was it. And then a hang. We're going to get the technical on. Uh, I, uh, uh, they're just going to say it's out of bounds. Yeah, because he's protecting himself. Mike. That was a pass by Tavares. It was. And now Dot's cleaning off the bench with 4.59 to go. We have Hubert early action here in the second. Signorella, Callender, Hubert. Oh, they are going to call it. They a are going to call a tech. Now Philippi's family dining and pizzeria was born in Atrona Heights in 1999, and it didn't take long for the name to become synonymous with great food and overwhelming community support. Philippi's offers burgers, wings, specialty sandwiches, wraps, and of course pizza. Not just any pizza, but the often imitated, never duplicated Birdville pie, made with their special super secret recipe and named in honor of the Birdville section of Harrison, where Philippi's is located. The kitchen's open after the game, so stop by and say hi. 724-226-3505 for takeout. You can get one of those partially baked Birdville pies to take home. And their best kept secret, breakfast starts at 8, the three cheese breakfast pizza. That's Philippi's Family Dining and Pizzeria, Freeport Road in Natrona Heights. Dallas Price hit one out of two there. And now we got a technical on Corey Dodge. And Mike, here's what's interesting. The clock continues to run. A lot of times they turn the clock off for foul shots. But again, Corey's argument was it was safety. I happen to agree with them, but <laughs> what are you going to do? That was interesting. But now this will be um, Wilson. He missed the first. Todd Fink said something to Corey, and Corey laughed at him. That's never a good. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't want to hear it. Well, he's trying to protect his kid. I thought when the whistle blew originally, they were going to call a tech. Yeah. You made the good point of, you know, there was somebody underneath it. So I think that call could have gone either way, and I, either way it doesn't bother yeah. me much. And, and what Corey's doing doesn't bother me either. So, Well, my girls' team crossed the way there. Big win yesterday in section against Knock. Knock made it to the WPL Finals last year. Mm -hmm. Price left side. Congratulations to the ladies. Thanks, as always, to Virginia Heasley for the lollipop. I've gone orange every game. Not switched yet. That's Wilson, left-handed three off the back iron. Rebound Signorella knocked it out of bounds, but it went off a of valley. I think Stereniak got the last piece of it. And a Thailand's basketball. Less than three to go, third quarter, 65-27. Sharif to Signorella. Oh, he had it stripped away by Wilson, and he did a good job to keep it. Wilson four quarter. Remember, the Rams play tonight, and then don't play for nine. They'll play on the 29th at CCBC at the Golden Dome in the C.J. Betters tournament. A choppy schedule, Mike. Now, Italy. Signorella tried to hit Stobert, cutting to the goal, but passed too far. No Seventh Highlands turnover of the night. And scoring has slowed down here, Mike, in the third. Well, similar to last night. It really slowed down for uh, Penn Traverse in the fourth quarter. They didn't score at all. What did he score? Eight points in the second half? Eight in the second half. Yep. None in the fourth. Taylor. Try to get it to Richter as uh, Stobert got a piece of it. Price going to let it three go. He's hit a few tonight. He's hit three, but there's Signorella for the rebound. Out to Sharif. 
Cody spotting up in a corner. He doesn't see him. Back out to Signorella. Drives into the paint. Oh, what a move he made. Missed the shot. Got his own rebound, though. Out to Stober. Let's a three fly. It's off the Ooh. back rim. Well, it looked good from here, didn't it? It sure did. Dom, of course, hit the one at the end of the first half. And here's Price. Stick around after the third quarter. We'll have trivia for you. Sponsored by Unflooded. Your locally owned and operated water removal team in the AK Valley. Does that count? There's Price hey. for three, and he rattles it home. Price, Mike, 15 points for him. And He's four from downtown New Kent. Yep. <laughs> Half the points, Mike. Oh, uh, Tommy Callender saved it. Good job by Good Tommy. hustle. Sharif kicked it out to the corner to Hubert. He stops, move. he pops, it's short. Rebound is loose. Look who's on the floor, first and 10. They battle again. for it, and now finally they call a jump ball. More subs. Give me Dallas. Allworth, Randolph, yeah. Belak, hey, no, no, look at me, and look at me. Dana Long. That was great. That was the Dre I knew. All right. Dallas! Dallas! And now we have a whistle at 35 seconds. What do we have? We had one too many. Valley had a goalie pulled. <laughs> had the sixth attacker on. Now they fixed it. <laughs> Four court, Xavier Wilson, less than a minute, third quarter. Jumper by Stereniak is no good. Allworth oh, chased it out of bounds, but I don't know if the Rams are even going to get this in here. 13 seconds with that clock running. Valley keeps possession. And they do. Wilson's going to let a three go and drain it with a left hand. Xavier Wilson, his second from downtown, and that's going to be the end of the third quarter as Belak lets it go. High off the glass. At the end of three, Highland 65, Valley 30. Joe Lucchino and his son Joseph proudly welcome you to Lucchino Insurance and Financial Group. Serving the AK Valley for decades, the Lucchinos are a broad-based financial advisory firm with a wide range of opportunities for both you and your family. Retirement can have a funny way of sneaking up on you. You're not alone if you haven't created a long-term financial strategy. The Lucchinos can help you find proven solutions to help you prepare for your family's future because Joe and Joe always know. 2318 Freeport Node next to Donut Connection. Call them today, 724-224-8908 or 724-905-7583. Why wait? Let the Lucchino Insurance and Financial Group put you on the road to financial stability today. Rates on up to 4.75 and those CDs get them while they last, Mike. You got to love that. All right. Okay, I told you I have a trivia question for you. It's a super trivia question for you, Mike. It involves the NBA, mm -hmm. and my middle school kids got this one right. Okay, they probably have a better chance of getting it right than I do. Well, you know who Clay Thompson is, right? I know who Clay Thompson is. Great shooter for the Golden State. His Warriors. brother play, is a baseball player. I know that, too. Who's he play for? He plays for the Dodgers. How about that? Anyways, he had a career high 60 points in a game. His name is Trace, T R A Y C E. How about that? Against Indiana back in 2016. Here's the question, Mike. This is super trivia. How many dribbles did he take that night to score Prob 60 points? Probably none. He's a right off the spot shooter, that guy. Stand up shooter. Actually, the kids knew this, Mike. 11. How about that? To get 60 points. My point being, you don't have to dribble to score. No. Hallworth, back out to Randolph. The Wild Ram drives to the basket and puts it in. He ties his career high. <laughs> By the way, we're outscored 9-8 in that quarter, Mike. Trivia, of course, brought to you by Unflooded. And a three-pointer is drained. Dereniak. He has 11. And he's got three from downtown. Valley, the majority of their baskets are threes. All worth down low. No foul. No foul. Kicked it back out to the corner, and Daniel Long lets it go. He missed it. Rebound, Belak. He was a little long on that one, but Troy Belak picked it up, laid it in for his two. And I believe his first two. I'm going to check. Allworth got the rebound. First two for Troy Belak, reversity points. And, Mike, they're going to check the starters back in. And, you know, I, I don't blame them. You let them get a little run in before Christmas. Allworth. Well, there's a lid on it. Wilson had it, but. Stolen back by Rand Randolph. Corner to Belak. Back to Randolph. He's going to stop, pop, three, nothing but nylon. And Aaron now has a career high with five. Rams are going to take a timeout to get the uh, troops in. 
And we'll tell you about Unflooded. Visit unflooded.com or call Brian Mara anytime, 888-650-7767. Unflooded, your family-owned and operated team for emergency water removal in the AK Valley. I have trivia for you two now. Why don't we do that? Sure. Double. Double trivia. The Immaculate Reception, the 50th anniversary, is coming up uh, this week. It was the 23rd when it happened. They're going to play also on the 24th. Again, the Raiders and the Steelers. Three quarterbacks threw passes in that game. Who are they? Terry Bradshaw. That is one. Terry Hanratty. Is not correct. Wow. Mike Tomzak. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm throwing out names now. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, oh, you mean both teams combined? Both teams combined. Okay, Kenny Stabler. Was the was two. Right now, one. Daryl LaMonica. Yes! How about that? How about that? I know my Raiders. They're in time this week. Daryl LaMonica started that game, went six for 18 for 45 yards. He was replaced by Snake Stable. Oh, it is. A he, it is. He was waiting for him to call it. He's looking, aren't you going to call it? He was. By the way, LaMonica threw two interceptions, one to Jack Hammond, one to Andy Russell. Ken Stable then replaced him. His touchdown put Oakland ahead. Six for 12, 57 yards. Terry Bradshaw, 11 for 25, 175 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Tavares all the way to the goal, and he lays it in. He's got seven now, his average. But how about those terrible passing stats? But that's the way it was back in those days. It was a running game. And who was the old kicker? George Blanda. George Blanda, who was local. Yeah, down in the Youngwood, I believe, yeah. And uh, he played quarterback yes, forever. He, he played yes. to almost 50. Yep. And he, he was making kicks. 40 yards was about his range, but he was absolutely deadly. He was too much. And we have a foul underneath. The foul is on Xavier Wilson of Valley. And he looked up every part of 50, by the way. And I even have on my phone my immaculate reception uh, pose that I had. Uh, I took at the exhibition game I went to this summer. There's Foster with a right hand, putting it up. Soft and settling, 18 now for Braden. 76-36, back up to 40. 4.50 to go. Ball is tipped by Kunst. And Kunst is fouled backcourt by Tyree Jamison. Oh, and he drained it, Mike, after the fact. Team foul number three against Valley. Highlands has committed two second half. So, Kunst now off the inbound. Oh, he had a pocket pick by Stereniak. Out to Wilson. He's one on two, though. He's going to try to take it to the goal. He does. He scores anyway. Quite a move by Xavier Wilson. 10 points. And Regard on the other end puts it in. 18 for Cam. 78-38. John Stone is all over Larry Porterfield right now. Steal by Jimmy Kunst out to Regard. Back to Foster and he puts it in. He hits his average of 20. Now we got another timeout by the Rams. They're going to reset the uh, reset the troops. Hines has their 80 points, maintaining good health and fitness. More important now than ever. Why not make greatness athletic fitness center in front of your locally owned and operated gym of choice? The right trainer makes all the difference. Gary Nagel is here, specializing in fitness, personal training, strength training, weightlifting, powerlifting, and even boxing. And they're always open. All you have to do is just swipe key card. Greatness Athletic Fitness Center is located 222 East, West, East 4th Avenue in Trenum. Memberships start at only $20. So give them a call at 724-681-8629 or check them out on Facebook at Greatness Athletics. Is that the time of the year, Mike, when it's time to get back in? Shape? Everybody's going to be doing it, yep. First of the year, be there. Now, Sharif playing some dogged defense out top, and this is... Makai Samuels against him. Now nearly a steal, but Cody reached in, couldn't get it. A save by Davis. Jaden Wall, 35 in there as both teams have emptied the benches. Now stepping into a three off the back rim with Samuels. Head of the and pack. here comes Signorella off the feed from Sharif, and he lays it in. He was thinking about it, Dean. Yeah, he had his hand inside the Basket, and that's for sure. He was thinking about it, 
Now Walls three is missed. Signorelli got the rebound. Well, he's doing exactly what I asked him to do tonight, was hustle for these middle school kids, and he is doing just that. Now the ball's tipped out of bounds. His calendar can't handle it. Allworth and Belak are going to come back in for Highlands. That's going to do it for Landon Cinderella. Mike, another big night. Matthew Three. Guy coming in for Valley. He's got to get the shirt tucked in. I don't think he was expecting to get in. <laughs> Three games in a row, Cinderella on double figures, Mike. That helps a lot. It really does. That's four Rams in double figures. Davis left side, now out top for Samuels. Ball's tipped off a hand, and Allworth steals it. Allworth back the other way. Oh, he finds a lane to the basket. Dumped it off the calendar. Corner to Stoberg from downtown. He missed it. Rebound. Four Vikings on the ball, and they knock it out of bounds. Long and Randolph back in for Highlands. Everybody in the Highlands lineup has gotten in tonight. Yes, sir. Cody, on the baby put back. Turnaround, puts it up with the left hand. Oh, oh. went up over top and hit the hit the stanchion up there. And they're ready to erupt across the way there. They were. I don't think Cody scored since like opening night of last year against Mount Pleasant here. In a varsity game, that is. Oh, they throw it backcourt. Now you gotta hurry if you're Valley, you can't make that mistake. And they, Valley does get back there. That's a lesson for Makai Samuels. You want to make sure to get that and not allow right. the other team to get an easy basket. 15 turnovers now for Valley. At least you want to set up your defense. Long. Oh, he tried to go. <laughs> he tried to go right back to Randolph. And Tic Tac didn't. Aaron wasn't looking. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's a good thing he got a hand off. He could have rearranged some furniture there. Samuels for three, that's missed. All oh, worth a rebound, got a man down. And that's it's Randolph with. Well, he tried. Randolph got some ups, doesn't he? Yep. Dude talk, talking about football earlier. Boy, did he burst onto the scene. And he really saved the Rams bacon when, uh, see Luke Bombalski over there, when Luke got hurt. Randolph had just started to come on before that, and it couldn't have come at a better time. Three from the corners, an air ball. They battle for it in the paint. It's on the floor, and they're going to call a held ball. Guy was down there with Falworth. Valley will keep it at 18 seconds with the clock running, and we're going to get out of here before 8.30. Ball's tipped. Out of bounds. We may not get any more play here. Five seconds left. Yep. Courtney, start it, warm it. This one belongs to the Rams. Highlands to 6-0 before Christmas. The Rams 82 and Valley 38. Again, yeah, Mike, another efficient night. Started off with that big first quarter, 35 points, and never looked back on their way to an 82-38 win. Now, again, Mike, schedule going to get very interesting. It is. We will see you from CCBC on the 29th. That's a 2.30 tip against Pine Richland, and we'll go from there. Once again, that final score here tonight, Highlands 82 and Valley 38. Merry Christmas to Cramer Mandan. Merry Christmas to Mike Choma. Same to you. And remember, you can't win them all two in the first six. That is correct. And we have done that again here for the second time in three years. So let's wrap it up. Merry Christmas, everyone. Final again, 82-38 Islands. Merry Christmas, everybody.